Welcome back to Vogue Family School. My name is Nicole. I am the homeschool mama to three beautiful girls, a seven-year-old, a four-year-old, and a one-year-old. This is this video is going to talk about um, handwriting for specifically my uh, seven-year-old who is just finishing up first grade for the year. So as some of you know, I pulled my uh, seven-year-old out of school uh, right after Christmas. We pulled her from public school. When we pulled her from public school, the school provided me with this book, Handwriting Without Tears, um, for her to finish. We had learned about Handwriting Without Tears in kindergarten, and I actually really like this uh, approach in this curriculum for straightforward manuscript handwriting. The book is long and it lays flat. I love the approach they take to forming letters. For instance, magic C to form letters uh, that start with the C formation. I like the verbiage they use, dive down and um, start at the top and things like that. We do not have, I do not have the instructor manual. I don't think it's necessary. I, I just really don't save money and just buy the workbook. I love this. Uh, I love this curriculum. I think it's straightforward. I think it uh, creates a great foundation uh, for late uh, letter formation. Um, however, after she had done this at school or public school and had done it for a little while with me, my daughter wanted a change. So the first thing that I did was go to my trusty Evan Moore. I love Evan Moore workbooks. They are straightforward to the point, no nonsense. This is daily handwriting practice for all grades. So it has lessons for Monday through Friday. Um, it's traditional manuscript and I, um, I actually really like this. It starts out the year with, uh, so it has how to form the letters and then each day it starts with the basic letter formation. And then it goes to um, letter uh, word formations and copying words, and then it eventually goes to copying sentences. One unique thing about this curriculum is that it goes horizontal. So in each um, day is only half of a page. So this is one day, and this is one day, this is one day, and this one day, which is really cool. So it's super short handwriting lessons. I thought my daughter would love this. Uh, actually, she did not. This is one of the few things in our homeschool that actually started to make her um, very stressed out and um, tear up and almost cry. And that is just not worth it. Um, there's no reason to cry with handwriting. It's just, it's, we don't need that. Um, so because she didn't want to keep doing handwriting without tears, I needed to, to move on to something else. Um, I'm trying to make homeschool a happy place. I want to create good uh, good thoughts and good feelings towards schooling because she has so many negative uh, things from the public school experience that she had. She does need still to have practice with handwriting because her handwriting was not very legible. It has gotten a lot better with the help of uh, handwriting without tears. So I went on a hunt and we found the good and the beautiful handwriting level one. We love this book. She asks to do it. Um, it is from the good and the beautiful. It has art incorporated um, and handwriting practice. As you can see, I love that it is spiral bound. I did buy this from the company's website. I know you can print or uh, purchase the PDF and uh, print and bind it yourself. I just wanted it to be easier, so I uh, ordered it from them. It is spiral, so you can um, flip it around. Um, again, I really love it. She loves it because she can do art. One thing to be aware of, though, if you have an art-minded student like I have, is that some days she can focus more on the art than on the handwriting. That's just something to be aware of um, when purchasing this curriculum. We are not very far into this. Um, we have, I mean, over half of the book still to do, and that's fine. This is not grade specific, um, so we'll just keep working at this, and she likes to do this. Every once in a while, I will continue to incorporate handwriting without tears. I think handwriting without tears creates a great foundation, especially probably for the younger grades, uh, kindergarten and first grade. I think this is great, and then good the good and the beautiful just reinforces that and um helps the handwriting practice without uh focusing 
a whole lot on the foundation uh, formation. It does a little bit. It shows you where to start the letters and such, and it does have uh, tracing. But um, I think this is great once the kids have the uh, foundation down. So those are my thoughts on uh, handwriting for first grade. Um, we will continue using these two books in conjunction with each other and just switching off and on. Um, please remember that if you like videos like this, uh, to like, subscribe, and comment. Thank you.